So I apologize. I, I ended uh, I ended the first video and I forgot something pretty important. Um, I wanted to show you how to tear things down um, after you go through this because again um, it's all too easy to go through these exercises and then leave this up and forget to tear it down and you're stuck with uh, you're going to start getting charged money for this. So this is just going to show you a few things that you need to do to tear everything down when you're done, you know, running these examples from the first part. So let's go ahead and resume back in the uh, Jupyter Notebook instance right here. So as you can see, this was from the first video. So we, uh, we actually had our session object. And that session object, um, uh, let's see where that came from again, just kind of refreshing my memory. I think that actually came from uh, Bodo Client. So hold on one second here. If we do a search, there we go. That was a part of the SageMaker when we created a session. So what we want to do is um, this particular endpoint actually before I even run the delete endpoint let's just go ahead and print this out so there's our um, there's our endpoint and it's basically this one right here so let's go back here again now what we can do is we will go ahead and just delete that endpoint okay so we are running that right now and give it a second to tear down. If we take a look at this, if I refresh, oh, that's our configuration. <clears throat> Looks like it's gone. Okay. So now what we kind of want to do is um, let's delete our endpoint configuration. See if it'll let us do that. So it successfully deleted that. Um, the other thing that we want to do, so now basically um, we don't have um, our cluster, if you will, our instances behind the scenes for that, but we're not quite done yet. Um, we don't care about these jobs. Um, let's see here, you know, we can, yeah, it matters. I mean, you can clean these up too if you want, but. Um, Let's see here. Just kind of going through each of these. Well, I know we definitely want to delete the um, the Jupyter Notebook instance. So there's our Jupyter Notebook instance running on an ML T2 medium. Um, so that's going to delete what we've got going on here. It's going to delete all of this history. That's okay. Let me close that. Select this. We got to stop it first. So that takes a little bit of time to stop. Um, once that's done, I'll resume the video and we'll just go ahead and delete it. Okay, now that this instance has stopped, we can go ahead and delete it. So we click on that, click delete, and it is deleting that and we will be getting rid of that instance so we won't have to worry about being charged. So, you know, again, that's that's pretty important that you want to clean up when you're done. And also what I like to do um, is just kind of go through each of these just to make sure there's nothing left. Um, going through the configuration, your models. Uh, let's just go right here. Delete our model, make sure we get rid of that. Um, you just don't want to get charged for anything, to be honest with you. Let's see here, tuning jobs. Well, these are jobs. We don't care about the jobs. It's just um, basically like history. The other thing you kind of want to do, and I'm going to delete my bucket. You want to go through S3. One of the things that I didn't really mention is I manually created a bucket. As you can see, when I was doing the notebook instances, I was specifying the bucket name. 
Um, you know, so let's just go ahead and delete the bucket because we do have some artifacts in here that was created, you know, like under here, let's see here in the output. So we've got our model that we created when we were setting up our model. So it's not much in the way of storage, but again, you know, just for brevity sake and all that, probably not a bad idea just to go ahead and delete the bucket. So let's just do that. And Confirm, we're gone, and I think that's pretty much it. So make sure you do that step after your exercises. And uh, thanks again for watching this. And uh, sorry that I had to create two videos. I hope you, I hope you got something out of this that would that would be great. So have a great one, and take care.